thank you so much for joining me today for another video. I can't believe it's actually finally October and I can wear Little Witch and have it be super appropriate, but I'm also wearing it today for another reason. And that's because today I am coming out of the broom closet here on YouTube. And what that means is I am telling you that I am a practicing witch. I think I actually did mention that a long time ago for like two seconds in a previous video. I'm sure none of you hardly even saw it. But I have been practicing by myself for about two years now, and at this point it's a part of my daily life. It's very important to me. I have rituals that I do on a daily basis, and it's become as much a part of my life really as Lolita has. And that's actually what I wanted to talk about in today's video. I wanted to share with you guys how my life as a practicing witch goes along very well with my life as a Lolita. You might not think that those two have very many things in common, but it's actually a great way for me to practice my witchcraft. So today I would like to share with you five ways that I use Lolita to practice being a witch. So if you find that interesting, which I hope you do, please feel free to continue watching through the rest of the video. And if you would like more kawaii and cute content, I do post new videos for you guys every Monday and Thursday. So if you would like to stick around for that, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And witches all over the world practice their craft in their own very individual ways. So this is just going to be some things that I find useful and important in my own practice. It's not going to be a blanket statement or information about witches everywhere. We're all very different. So just keep that in mind as you're watching. With that all being said, let's just get right into it. So the first way that Lolita fashion relates to my life as a witch is with a little something called glamour magic. Now, in the traditional folklore about witches, glamour magic would be about casting an illusion, physically changing yourself to someone completely different in order to trick or manipulate someone else. Obviously, that is not a very nice thing, and that's not what we're talking about here today. In modern terms of witchcraft, glamour magic is actually the complete opposite of that. Glamour magic is about being yourself in the most authentic, expressive and creative way possible for you. On its face, you could simply put it as however you want to dress that day, how you're going to style your hair, and whatever you're going to do with your makeup. But through the use of glamour magic and through being present, these things have intention to them. For me, glamour magic is about feeling confident in the things that I really love about myself and learning to or setting the intention to learn to love things about myself that I struggle with. Specifically through the kind of clothing I wear, what I do with my hair, or what wig I wear, and how I want to style my makeup. And as you can imagine, Lolita fashion is perfect for all of those things. So when I'm getting ready to go out wearing Lolita, or even when I'm just getting ready to sit down here and film for you guys, I practice glamour magic. It helps me feel confident in the way I feel beautiful. Lolita makes me feel beautiful and reassures me that I see that beauty in myself. Lolita gives me an opportunity to do fun and creative makeup, which I think I'm good at and it reminds me of that. Lolita gives me an opportunity to be creative, which I think I'm a creative person. It gives me a fun outlet to do that. And it gives me a way to visually see my creativity and be proud of it. But as you might know from previous videos I've done, it's also really helped me with parts of myself that I used to not like so much. I've been teased for having small boobs and being short my whole life, as an adult even. And Lolita fashion helps me look at those things in a very different and positive way. It doesn't make me feel like those things about myself are a detriment to me, has been life-changing, honestly. And sure, you can think about these things passively any old day of the week, but something really special to me about being a witch and practicing witchcraft is that it's important to find inspiration and intention in everything around you. And combining glamour magic with Lolita is a very important part of that, that I get to do almost every single day. The second way that I combine witchcraft and Lolita is by practicing color magic. I believe that no matter how any witch practices their craft, color magic is very important and intrinsic to witchcraft itself. In witchcraft, each color has its own correspondence to aspects of nature or emotions or intentions that we can use to build spells or rituals or just set intentions in our daily life. 
Doing color magic can be something as simple as lighting a colored candle or wearing a specific color. As you might imagine, my favorite color is pink. It's in my hair, it's in my tattoos if you've seen them, it's in my nails, and it's in the vast majority of my Lolita wardrobe. In a magical sense, pink represents a lot of things that are very important to me. Self-love, personal harmony, friendship, femininity, and compassion. So when I wear Lolita, especially when I get to wear one of my pink pieces, I carry the energy of all those things within me. For instance, Lolita is something that I do very much for myself. It is an act of self-care and self-love. When I go out with my friends dressed in Lolita, I get to enjoy the power of our feminine energy together, which Lolita has allowed us to do. When I put on my Lolita dresses, it really puts me at a sense of ease and it helps me appreciate a lot of things within myself and brings all of those aspects into harmony. And of course, my closet has other colors besides just pink, but I really do believe that I'm naturally drawn to what is important to me. And number three, another important aspect that both Lolita and Witchcraft share is tea. In my opinion, tea is a very important part of Lolita culture. Top Lolita brands like Angelic Pretty and Baby the Star Shine Bright host large tea party events. I'm sure your local Lolita.com also hosts high tea events. And what Lolita Among Us hasn't enjoyed their own solitary cup of tea while dressing up at home? Well, tea is also important in a lot of witch practices, including mine. I feel like in witchcraft, you can make a ritual out of anything, meaning you can find importance and intention in just about anything you do. It's customizable for things that are easy for you to do or things that you just like. And because I just enjoy tea on a personal basis, it's been a really easy way to incorporate witchcraft into that aspect. Now, just like the color magic I mentioned, herbs and plants also have correspondences just like colors. So when I go out to high tea with my Lolita friends, or if I'm just enjoying a cup of tea at home, I can look at the ingredients in the tea or choose them specifically and make intentions based on the correspondences with those herbs or plants or other ingredients within the tea. And I'll give you some examples with my personal favorite flavors for tea. My favorite flavor of tea is jasmine, and the jasmine flower corresponds to confidence, self-love, beauty, and healing. So if I was drinking jasmine tea while I was out with my friends, maybe I could set an intention on the aspect of self-love. While steeping or stirring my tea, I could say a little thought to myself, thanking me for setting this time aside to be with my friends, to give myself an opportunity to be creative, and to go have fun. Another one of my favorite flavors for tea is peach, which corresponds to femininity or fertility, protection, and vitality. So if I was out on a Lolita adventure with my friends that day, I might set an intention to keep us all safe as we travel around and make sure we all stay protected while we're out in the public. And another favorite tea of mine is mint, which is great for prosperity and luck. So if I was out having high tea and I selected a mint tea from the menu, I could keep an intention or a thought that we would luckily find a beautiful spot to take photos in our courts later. The fourth way I use Lolita in my witchcraft is by celebrating witch holidays. That would be witch holidays, not witch holidays. Now, witchcraft itself is not a religion, but it is closely related to Wicca, which is a religion. Wicca celebrates the Earth's natural journey around the sun by celebrating holidays. And although I am not Wiccan, I do enjoy celebrating these holidays as many other witches do as well. The cool thing for me is that I can use Lolita as a way to celebrate these holidays. Now, with many things in witchcraft, these holidays also have their own correspondences. This can be with colors, food, herbs, activities you can do. And I'm able to use Lolita to honor a lot of those correspondences for the holidays. For instance, there is the witch holiday of Yule, which is very close to Christmas for those that celebrate. Colors for Yule would be green, red, and gold. Now, the holiday of Yule is meant to celebrate the longest night of the year. Now, you can celebrate Yule in many different ways, of course, but I feel like common ways to celebrate would be to bake bread, make food, have friends into your home, enjoy mulled wine or cider, light candles, decorate with aspects of nature that you bring in from outside, and of course, wear the corresponding colors of red, gold, and green. 
Now, a great way I can use Lolita in a way to celebrate Yule is that we would likely go out and have a holiday Lolita outing. This, of course, could cover both Yule and Christmas for my friends that celebrate either. And in order to wear the corresponding colors, I have a perfect dress, which is Kumi's Holly Night. It is a green dress, which also has the colors of red and gold in it. And it has a bunch of other beautiful details in the print of the dress that would be perfect to correspond with Yule. On our outing, we would likely go out and have yummy food, drink warm tea, and maybe afterwards we could come home and make our own mulled wine. And most importantly, I would be around my friends. In my heart, most of the holidays are about just being thankful for what's around you in the current season of the year. Because things change so quickly, the wheel of the year turns and you will lose what you had before, gain something new, but it's always going to be different, always changing. But luckily I have a lot of dresses in my closet that are all very themed perfectly for the other holidays. And something that I've been talking a lot about in this video already is spending time in Lolita with my friends, which brings me to my fifth and final link I would like to share with you guys between my life as a witch and a Lolita, and that is about being with my coven or spending time with my female friends in Lolita. Now, a coven classically refers to a group of practicing witches getting together to perform rituals or set intentions together. Now, while I don't get together with my Lolita friends to directly practice witchcraft together, there's something very spiritual and special about being in that very powerful, fun, feminine energy that really feeds into my spiritual side. And while a coven classically comes together to set their intentions and do their spell work all at the same time as one group, these ladies still help me set my own intentions and remember things that I want to continue to manifest into my life. A big part of witchcraft for me is manifesting or speaking or imagining the things that I want for my life. Speaking the things I want into existence, envisioning or imagining the things I want happening. And every time I'm with my friends and we are out in Lolita, I am very much reminded of all the beautiful things that I want to continue to have in my life. My Lolita friends always inspire me to be my highest self, which is a big part of my witchcraft practice. And that just means always striving to be the best version your current self can be, always striving to grow and learn more about yourself and how to connect with yourself and the world around you. My friends teach me to be compassionate. My friends inspire me to work hard. My friends remind me to have fun. And I know with these girls in my life, I will continue to have all of those things in abundance. I'm sure there are a lot of common misconceptions about witchcraft, even in 2021, so I hope me giving you guys this little peek into my life might give you some better insight onto what it's all about. I've really enjoyed practicing witchcraft for the last two years. I'm still very much a baby learning about everything, but it has helped me learn a lot about myself and how I interact with the world around me and just finding magic in my everyday routine. And I think in these times we could all use a little bit more magic in our lives. Sure, it can just be the color pink. Sure, it can just be some tea on a lovely day out with my friends. But isn't it a nice thought that there is more to life than just that. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. I hope maybe this will inspire you to find a little more magic in your next interaction with your Lolita wardrobe. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you enjoy yours as well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.